Hello everyone, it's DA here. Hope you guys are doing great. Hope you are doing fantastic. Yesterday, we discussed the Xbox Series X, what it has to offer, and the potential upon release. Today, we are going to be talking about the PlayStation 5, the specs, the release, the price point, and some launch titles as well. Starting with the specifications, the PlayStation 5 will be utilizing the bespoke 8-core AMD CPU and a Navi GPU. All this will be using AMD's newest architecture. In terms of memory, it will be utilizing GDDR6 cards, and of course, in terms of space, it will also be utilizing an NVMe SSD drive. It will have backwards compatibility with PlayStation 4 games, and it will also be capable of supporting 8K gameplay at 120fps. Similar to the Xbox Series X, the PlayStation 5 will also be capable of utilizing ray tracing technology, leaving all the limitations to the developers alone. The Blu-ray disc for this console will be capable of holding up to 100 gigabits of data. And considering the size of most games, that might not even be enough. GTA 5 is more than 100 gigs, so you can expect some additional downloads for some of these games as well. This console we have five USB ports in the back or in the front in addition to the HDMI, Ethernet and other slots. I will however also advise that you take some of this information that has been shared with a grain of salt since the specs are bound to change or improve before release. Now in terms of design, there are some improvements such as the Eptic feedback that Sony has confirmed will replace the rumble technology. But Sony is also following the notion of if it ain't broke, don't try to fix it. This philosophy also helps a lot of fans to ease into this new generation when it comes to transitioning from PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 3 to the PlayStation 5. And of course, the Xbox Series X will be utilizing a similar control as well. In terms of launch titles, you can expect a lot of VR games. Ghost of Tsushima, The Last of Us Part 2, Horizon Zero Dawn sequel, a new God of War title which will probably come out later on, and you can expect other third-party titles such as Watch Dogs and Godfall to launch with the console as well. In terms of price points, you can expect something in the $600, $700 range. The pro versions are also bound to cost more for a lot of these consoles. And over years after release, you can expect these prices to drop, but I wouldn't count on it within the first two years of these consoles. So now begs the question of which console should you buy, the PlayStation 5 or the Series X? If you're already grandfathered in, you've been playing Xbox or playing PlayStation for years now, then it's not a question you're going to probably buy the same consoles. But also understand that both of these consoles will be just as powerful as each other. The battle will be up to the first party games. Which console can promise you up to 10 exclusive first party titles within the first two years of release? And also which console do most of your friends play on? That will be one of the major ways to answer this question. With a discussion of backwards compatibility, you have to consider the option of being able to play old games or having access to cloud gaming. So if you already game on PC, I would say get the PlayStation 5 since most of the Xbox Series X games will also be available on the PC. But if you have money for both, then get both. Because who am I to tell you how to spend your money? But always remember though, no allegiance to a console, we're all gamers at the end of the day, so it doesn't matter if you play the PlayStation 5 or the Xbox Series X, it's all about enjoying the game. I hope this video helps you out, I hope it also explains a lot of things, thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.